Welcome to this video produced by Electrum Microscopy Sciences of Hatfield, Pennsylvania. We're going to be cutting our tissue for TEM. When we do that, it's a good idea to have all of our materials ready. Of course, we need tissue. Uh, this has been perfusion fixed, and so it's currently in fixative. You may be immersion fixing uh, cell cultures, and that would not require any cutting, obviously. We have a pre-labeled vial, and that contains the fixative of choice. And this happens to be Karnofsky's fixative. We might also have it in buffer, depending on how long it's been sitting. We have safety glasses, of course. We have goggles and uh, gloves to protect ourselves. This scalpel is used to cut tissues. Sometimes it has a safety cover on it, so we don't cut ourselves and of course a razor blade, which is my tool of choice. We have tweezers of your desire, self-closing. These happen to be regular tweezers. And then we have a dicing board. And one of the really nice things about this dicing board, it has both vertical and horizontal marks showing the different millimeter dimensions. So you can tell which, how big your sample is. We have our pipettes and this is uh, we're going to put some fixative on the board we want to make sure that our tissue remains moist and uh, we don't want it to dry out when we get our tissue onto the board uh, we, it doesn't hurt to uh, put a little bit more fixative on there this happens to be a relatively large piece of liver you may be working with smaller if you're biopsies, then you have much less to worry about in terms of uh, size preparation. For this, I like to um, use the razor blade, and I am going to cut a section approximately one millimeter thick. I've done this quite a few times, so I don't always use the uh, dimensions that are on the board. And that's a pretty good one. I try to make it a nice slab. And if you have large samples that are one millimeter thick, they can be a little bit larger in the X, Y, or the other dimension, uh, in that the materials will still be able to diffuse through the samples. We're not too worried about fix it if it's, per if it's perfusion fixed. And that's a really nice one millimeter thick sample. So then I can take that one millimeter thick sample, we'll get the major piece of tissue out of the way. I'm gonna take that one millimeter thick sample and I'm going to align it then onto our other uh, dimensions so that I can be sure that I get one millimeter cubed <clears throat> for good proper diffusion of osmium and infiltration of the resin. So I'm going to align it up here, hold it a little bit with my, with my tweezers, and then cut it. And then I, it's nice, but I can just do right at the one millimeter. And if it happens to move, don't worry, worry about it. Uh, taking a little extra time right here ensures that the samples are of the proper dimensions so we don't have to worry about uh, areas of the tissue that don't, don't get fixed or infiltrated with resin. And one more little cut there. So now I'm going to line them up <clears throat> so that as I cut them, they're all going to be about approximately the same length. So again, lining it up at the beginning of, of one of the marks, and then I'm going to go down and move one millimeter. Now I'll continue just doing one more millimeter until the tissue is all done. Now, of course, you don't need to process all of these tissues, but sometimes um, it's nice to have a variety, number of different blocks with more than one piece of tissue in there for a sample size. And one more. So 
So now when I'm done with the dicing of the tissues, I'll get rid of this piece here. It's a little bit larger than I need to. Is, I'll use that later. I want to put these in the vial of containing our fixative, or again, if it's buffered, depending on whatever it is uh, that you're using. And as I pick these up, um, since they're in a liquid, actually, the surface tension of the water supports it, and I don't want to, so I don't have to squeeze these very tight. Put those all in the fixative. Scrape up any little last pieces. And that's it. A number of tissues, approximately one millimeter cube for TEM specimen preparation. Thank you.